Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install an Active Directory domain services. So before we start installing, we need to do a couple of extra steps in order to have a easy manage of our domain. So first of all, Active Directory domain services, it will allow you to control resources on a company from the same servers. But let's start first with changing the name of our machine to reflect what we need. We go to File Explorer, this PC, Properties. Now here change, click the change button and go to and change the name to whatever you like. I like to name it to DC01. So as I said DC stands for domain controller. Domain controller is the main computer or the main server which controls resources in a domain. Can be something as a PDC, as a primary domain controller or DC01 is up to you. So in my case I will leave to DC01. I will have to click OK. hit OK so after it will ask you to restart the server once the restarting has finished we need to install the role of Active Directory Domain Services so Active Directory Domain Services is one of those roles which allow you to create and manage company inside of Active Directory you can create groups you can create users you can create computers you can technically you can manage the entire company from the same spot so let's start let's wait for the computer to come back so then we proceed forward with the installation okay as i said in the previous video you can swipe from the top of the menu vm send control alt delete okay so insert your password okay so now let's start the process of installing active directory adds okay so now if you go to File Explorer, this PC, right click properties, as you can see our name it will has been changed to domain controller 01 and is part of the workgroup. Workgroup is a non-centralized management, it allows you to have uh, multiple computer connect them in a network but without being controlled from the same lo centralized location. The disadvantage of workgroup that you cannot have a, a workgroup bigger than 20 computers so the bigger it will become the more noise will be on the network more traffic is going to be and the main disadvantage is the fact that if you have 20 computers in the same network each one share their own resources and being not centralized management nearby you don't know exactly which one have viruses how they spread the files and so on so now we can click manage add role here or add role and features so add roles next next choose from the list domain as you can see we have our own server next active directory domain services click add feature next next this it will be about um, Azure cloud if you have your computer if you want your computer to be accessed from the cloud from Microsoft um, cloud Restart the destination server automatically if required. Install. Okay, so while these things is installing, we need to change the IP address of our network. Without an IP address, we cannot have a proper network, so other computer cannot join the domain. So change adapter settings. Right-click properties. IP version four property. Oh, use the following IP address. Okay, 192, 168, 1.200 and the DNS is very important as well, it has to be 200, if it's something else it won't be good because in the virtual you need to have the same DNS as your server in order to access that server or maybe you want to join domains or maybe you want to try to do something else. Okay, so let's wait for the installation and then we proceed forward. okay so our uh, role has been installed but however now we need to configure so you can see on the right top in the notification there is a warning mark so we need to click that promote this server as a domain controller so choose from the list we have three type of option add a domain controller to an existing domain 
add a new domain to an existing forest, add a new forest. So later on we will play with the domain and trust, Active Directory domain and trust, and we where we can make domain, subdomain, parent and so on. But at the moment we need to create a domain. So I add the new forest because that's how they call it, a forest or parent. So we name it uh, something that local. I don't know, something. Maybe. Okay. Mm I put my name that local you can put anything that com that ca that org whatever you like to name it click next it will require to insert a password so you can put any one of the password however this password is very important because every client who try to join a domain you try to deploy uh, w Windows deployment services or you try to do something related to the domain it will ask for this password so make sure you remember your own password and make sure it's different from your own password from the administrative account now we can have forest functionality for example if you have different servers which have different uh, level of uh, forest which mean you have a Windows Server 2012 right or 16 you can select and choose from here different forest level which allow you to have the same functionality because remember if you want to join different type of server you have a 2016 a 2019 or in a 2008 or 12 and you try to merge them together you might get different errors because at the current moment each one have their own level of the forest so in case you try to uh, make a trust you might need to have the same level of the forest if you deal with 2019 you need to deal with 2019 as well if you have 2012 you need to deal with 2012 so it will be much easier so you just click next and go on next install so one thing which you need to know after the installation of ADDS your IP address here it will be changed back to 127.0.0.1 which is the loopback ok guys so the installation is successful I will speed up the video and see you soon thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and like my videos